the entrance of the regal Uxbridge, in this pleasant Middlesex town, was of stone-tinted tiles, alongside bands of richly coloured tiles. These were capped with a tiled decorative motive. The longitudinal lines of the canopy formed a foil to the long slender windows, and gave the exterior façade individuality and distinction. Although not planned as a Union cinema, the Regal Uxbridge was leased to them in 1935. It was lavishly built for the A.E. Abraham circuit and opened on Boxing Day 1931. In the crash hall, the difficult problem of maintaining a continuity of design when faced with a sudden decrease in height had to be overcome. This foyer followed the general curve of the theatre's rear wall. It had some soft concealed lighting by means of bowls mounted on the supporting pillars and the reduced lighting here was to prepare the patron for the auditorium. The auditorium was startling. The size, proportion, the magnificent sweep of its seating in one uninterrupted gradient from stage to rear wall and the conception of its decorative scheme was dramatic. The lighting, entirely concealed, was obtained from the ceiling where lines and shadows full of colour culminated in a unique proscenium arch. This was designed as a Chinese half-moon and was lit by hidden cornice troughs. On either side of the proscenium arch were the organ grills, imitative of the modern French school of ironwork. Beneath these were floodlighting balconies. These were also ingeniously arranged to serve the double purpose of concealing the fresh air inlets. On the side walls, a feature had been made of the exit lobbies, where concealed lighting dramatised the plaster motive. The whole auditorium presented a scheme of luxurious softness and telling design. The organ was a two-manual, six-rank Compton. The console was in the centre of the orchestra pit, but was not on a lift. The Regal seated 1,620 and its architect was E. Norman Bailey. ABC decided not to renew their lease on the building and the cinema closed in November 1977. It was one of the only ABCs to retain its Regal name, although this was not because of any sentiment of associated British cinemas, but rather because it was a condition of the lease. The building has since been split horizontally. Above this false floor is a discotheque and below a snooker hall. It is called Regal's. <laughs>